What's up guys? I am doing another um, behind the scenes type of thing. I did one for my Let's Plays. Uh, I will most likely put an annotation here or a link in the description so you can go check that out if you haven't. I wanted to do a behind the scenes of my banter videos, um, which a lot of you guys like and I have so much fun doing it. I don't do them as often as, as I would like to because I have a lot of other videos that I um, that I need to do and that I need to put out there, so, um, the banters are kind of like a once in a while fun thing. I tend to do them mostly of Dragon Age, because I think Dragon Age has such great, uh, writing and banter and between the characters. It's just, there's so much there, um, that I think a lot of people sometimes miss. Because they're randomly, uh, triggered when you're walking around areas. So I think some people miss out, um, but that's why I do them so that a lot of people could hear them because I think they're worth listening to because a lot of them are just so, so good. I don't do all of them. I do some of my my favorites. I'm currently doing Dragon Age 2 right now. The first Dragon Age uh, banter Dragon of Dragon Age 2 put it up not long ago. So I'm going to do another Dragon Age 2 one. I've done like, I think six. Uh, banter videos of Dragon Age Origins and I did a few of Mass Effect. I think I have maybe two, no three, three Mass Effect ones. So yeah, that's pretty much what I, what, why I do them. Ever since I started doing this, I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna, instead of just like syncing, lip syncing, I've done a lot of lip syncing since early, early on in my channel. I, those were some of my first Board of Awesomeness challenges were lip syncing. And you guys had to guess what character it was and all that. With Dragon Age, I wanted to do something special where I was like, well, how, how are they going to know that, um, what character it is, you know? Like, if I do the lip syncing, I'm, I'm, am I going to look the same for each character? And I thought that was kind of boring. So I started to put, like, different... <laughs> it started off just, like, me putting on a backwards hat and, and glasses, sunglasses for Ogryn. And because I was like, you know, he's got that like, that like cool, like I don't care look. So I was like, that that kind of, you know, that kind of stands out for Ogryn. But everything that I wear for each character doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it fits. Like it just fits. I don't know why. In my head, I just think about it, and I'm just like, yeah, like it, that. To I totally see. Um, I could totally see Ogren wearing these sunglasses and a backward hat, or I could totally see um, uh, Varric wearing a fedora. <laughs> and I think it fits. I think it totally fits. A lot of people were saying the, when they watched that video, they were like, "Oh my God! Like Varric has to have a fedora in Dragon Age Inquisition." And I was like, "How awesome would that be? That would be so hilarious." And I seriously think it would fit. Like. <laughs> Very having a fedora. Yeah, I just go and I think about it for a little bit and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be doing Isabella. You know, she's got the pirate look, so obviously I have their their the the outfits right here because I'm gonna be doing one right now, so I'm gonna give you like kind of a behind the scenes of that as well. For Dragon Age Origins, um the only one that didn't really have anything uh was Alistair. From the beginning I just had Alistair usually wearing a blue shirt um, and my hair down, and that just stuck. Like I was like, that's just Alistair. Like I don't, I don't know. There was like nothing else I could put for Alistair. Zevran, I have him with a little beanie, <laughs> a little striped beanie that I have, and he always has to have like a light, like a light blue or light green shirt. Sten. <laughs> I love doing Sten. I think Sten is really fun to do. For some reason, he's just so stoic and just like, he's just really easy for me to do. I don't do that much of Sten. I used to, but not that much anymore. Um, I pretty much just put on a, a bandana. <laughs> I just put on a bandana and I, that, I turn into Sten. Shale is another one of my favorites to do because she's just so, also again, like so, like, <laughs> so... So many things that she says are just hilarious and she's so so like emotionless that I just I think it's it's so fun to do. That one's become like kind of trademark for Sten is just this purple um, hoodie that I have 
and I just put the hoodie on. For Shale, I was just like, man, what am I gonna do for Shale? Like, what am I gonna wear? And then I looked at that hoodie, and it has, it's a, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas hoodie. So it's got like skeleton, like Jack Skellington on it. And I thought, dude, that kind of reminds me of like this emo, <laughs> this like emo type of feeling, like the skeletons and, and how, how, how Shale is just kind of like, <laughs> you know, so I thought that kind of fit. But right now, with uh, Dragon Age 2, I've got, this is, this is uh, Isabella, pretty much, because of the whole pirate thing. I let my hair down and I wear a tank top, um, something, you know, that, that shows some, some skin because it's Isabella. This is, uh, another one of my, of my favorites to do is Fenris, actually. It's Fenris, I make him look like, like, kind of, I don't know, like he's got swag, but, <laughs> but really, but really kind of emo in a way. Um, I got, I, I wear this beanie and a gray, just gray, and then the sunglasses. Sunglasses is a big part of a lot of the characters. Um, I do that because I, I, I usually do it with like the cool characters, like or the ones that really like like Fenris, where he doesn't really want to be seen. I kind of hide him behind the sunglasses. Varric has a very specific type of sunglasses. It's these. I don't know why. I was like, this says Varric. The, the new one that I'm doing today is uh, Sebastian. I haven't worn it yet, but I think it screams out Sebastian, or at least it does to me. Like, I, it took me a while because I was like, what am I going to do for Sebastian? I thought for a little bit, I was like, maybe a baseball hat, just like facing this way instead of backwards, like Ogren. But I was like, I don't know, so I... <laughs> So this is what I got. I'm thinking of maybe wearing this white vest, because you know Sebastian's got a lot of white, but this for sure. <laughs> this has got to be on Sebastian. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should put glasses on or what, but um, yeah, I'm still experimenting with Sebastian. Uh, I got to see what feels right. But yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I just like think in my mind and I'm like, what would, what would they wear? Like, What's my way of interpreting them? Um, with what I have, and a lot of times it just fits. Uh, so yeah, that's those are the outfits. A lot of people think it takes me super long to do it, um, but it doesn't. It just comes to me. Um, I listen to it a few times, and I get it. So <laughs> it, it doesn't. It, 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 these don't take that long to do. The editing is what takes a little bit longer. But but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll let you guys uh, watch the whole process of me learning the lines and, um, and recording myself doing lip syncing and all that, and then the editing. Or I get the, the, the party banter, usually I find it on YouTube, you just put Dragon Age party banter and it'll come up, a bunch of people put it up. I get it from different sources sometimes, so I put the party banter in this, in this program called Audacity, which is a really good uh, audio program, it's free, you can just download it. It's for Mac and PC. This is the whole banter. It's like 30 minutes long, I think. And then I just go and listen to it all. I did this yesterday. So I just listen to it all and I chose the ones that I want, that I want to do. Um, I cut everything I don't want. Like for example, let's say I don't, like for example, this part. A Ferelden in the guard. What will they think of next? Like if I don't want that, that banter, I'll just cut it. And then I'll just keep going. Whatever I don't want, I just cut. Um, and then I keep, and then it becomes one file of the ones that I want. So now instead of being 30 minutes, it's 7 minutes. So all I have to go through looking for is just through the 7 minutes instead of a full 30 minute video. Or full 30 minute audio. Magical fisting thing you do. 
Um, sorry? You know, when you stick your hand into people. So what's with that magical fisting thing you do? Um, sorry? You know, when Next comes the import into um, my editing software. Um, I have all of these. I did all the characters. There's Isabella, Meryl. I think my longest one was Varric because there was a lot of Varric. And I did all of the audio, which I usually don't do. I usually just do like three, three to four minutes. Um, and I choose whatever banter I want. But this time around, I did a full seven minute uh, audio, which is, uh, which takes a long time. <laughs> Um, which takes, I think this took, this, like, for example, this file, the Varric file, is probably, I think, about over 30 minutes long. So I think I was filming for, uh, do doing the lip sync for about, uh, over an hour and a half. Or about an hour and a half, something like that. Um, but this one took the longest because there was a lot of Varric. I think the majority was Varric. Because um, it was a lot of fun, the Varric. Uh, there's a lot of Varric just because I love Varric's lines. And he's my favorite character in Dragon Age 2. So there was a lot of lines that I liked uh, for him. So I wanted to put those on here. It's not that my my volume is muted or anything. I don't... I, I just lip sync. I don't say it. I don't verbally say it. Um, and then down here, that's where I start to actually make the video with the audio. Not this again. I heard that the winter slaves are kept oiled so they glisten. Did your master oil you up? And the audio is already off here. Good. See? I, uh, I, I cut it up as I go, but this is the, I need the, the mmm part with Isabella, so I have to cut a lot of this uh, Fenris, but I'm, I was looking for the perfect for the perfect one with Fenris, like I do uh, multiple takes of the same the same thing so that I could find one that I like. See, like for example, this uh, you have an entire story written in your head already, don't you? That line, I did it at least five times, I think. I do different different um, faces, different different ways of, of interpreting it, and then I just put whatever I liked on there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do. It takes me quite a while. Like I said, the editing takes a little bit longer, although this one, this time, the the filming took quite a while as well because I did the full seven minutes of the audio, which, um, if you, if you count, um, mistakes, takes, it takes a lot, a lot of time because I'm doing multiple takes and, uh, some of the, a lot of times you get audio or parts that are easy to remember like you know Isabella just going mmm or something like that but when you get long conversations um, that's when it starts getting really hard to lip sync for me because I don't I don't talk fast so it's hard for my lips to move fast in a way where I'm lip syncing something like for example one of Varric's. Varric's Varric had some pretty long ones So that was a mess up right there. <laughs> that was another mess up. <laughs> and I'm really, I'm really anal about getting it just right. Uh, so, so I do a lot of takes sometimes, but um, it doesn't take as long as some people have have thought. I don't know that it takes me hours to learn it, or that I actually write the the um the lines down i don't write them down i just wing it like i just listen to it and i usually get the line within a few minutes or something like that with all of this over an hour footage i think i'm going to be using about four minutes of it i don't want i don't like to have my banters longer than four minutes um and then i'll probably save the rest for another banter mm. Mm. Always 
so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I do my banter videos. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so glad that you guys enjoy my banters um, as much as I do. I will continue making them. A lot of people think I'm, I'm gonna stop. I know that I do um, take a while to put them out, but just know that they are some of my favorite videos to make. So I don't think I will be stopping until there is no more banter to do. Um, but in the meantime, I will definitely be doing all of my favorite banters in Dragon Age mostly, um, but in any other um, game as well. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.